The Battle of Alawil was fought on 28 January 1846 between the British and the Sikhs. The British were led by Sir Harry Smith, while the Sikhs were led by Renjod Singh Majathir. The British won a victory which is sometimes regarded as the turning point of the First Anglo-Sikh War. Background the First Anglo-Sikh War began six years after the death of Ranjit Singh, who had established the Sikh Empire in the Punjab. The Punjab became increasingly disordered, while the British increased their military forces on their border with the Punjab. Eventually, the increasingly turbulent Khalsa, the army of the Sikh Empire, was goaded into crossing the Sutlej River and invading British territory, under leaders who were distrustful of their own troops. On 21 December and 22 December 1845, the army of the British East India Company commanded by Sir Hugh Gough and the Governor-General of Bengal, Sir Henry Harding, fought the bloody Battle of Feroz Shah. The Sikh armies under Vizier Lal Singh and Commander-in-Chief Tej Singh eventually retreated, but the British army was shaken by its heavy losses. They did not renew hostilities for some weeks, and Harding sought to relieve Gough of his command, blaming his tactics for the heavy casualties. The Sikhs too were temporarily disheartened by the retreats ordered by their commanders. However, they were reinforced by troops who had not yet seen action, and moved back across the Sutlej to occupy a bridgehead at Sabran, while a detachment under Ranjod Singh Majadhir, with 7,000 men and 20 guns, crossed higher up the Sutlej to besiege the British-held fortress of Ludhiana and Menas Goffs and Hardanger's supply lines. The British commanders detached a division under Sir Harry Smith to clear this threat to their rear campaign. On 16 January 1846, Smith recovered two outposts which the Sikhs had seized at Fatagar, disambiguation needed, and Darmkit. Although Ranjod Singh's irregular cavalry had raided over a wide area and set fire to part of the British cantonments at Ludian, his main body was advancing only slowly on Ludhiana. Harry Smith first intended to attack Ranjod Singh's army at Budao. However, on learning of the Sikh strength, and receiving further orders from Gough, he instead force-marched his troops via Jagrun collecting a British regiment there, to reach Ludhiana ahead of the Sikh main body. On 21 January, as he left Budao, the Sikh irregular cavalry continually attacked his rear guards. They captured most of Smith's baggage animals, and cut down any straggling troops. Nevertheless, Smith succeeded in reaching Ludhiana, with his troops exhausted. A brigade of troops from Delhi, including two Gurkha battalions, reinforced him. After resting his troops, Smith once again advanced to Budao. The Sikhs had withdrawn to Alawil on the Sutlej, awaiting reinforcements. On 28 January, Smith advanced against them, cautiously at first. Battle. The Sikhs had occupied a position four miles long, which ran along a ridge between the villages of Alawal on the Sutlej and Boondri. The Sutlej ran close to their rear for the entire length of their line, making it difficult for them to maneuver and also potentially disastrous if they were forced to retreat. After the initial artillery salvos, Smith determined that Alawal was the Sikh weak point. He sent two of his four infantry brigades to capture the village, from where they could enfilade the Sikh center. They seized the village, and began pressing forwards to threaten the fords across the Sutlej. As the Sikhs tried to swing back their left, pivoting on Boondri, some of their cavalry tried to threaten the open British left flank. A British and Indian cavalry brigade, led by the 16th Lancers, charged and dispersed them. The 16th Lancers then attacked a large body of Sikh infantry. These were battalions organized and trained in contemporary European fashion by Neapolitan mercenary, Paolo Diavate Bile. They formed square to receive cavalry, as most European armies did. Nevertheless, the 16th Lancers broke them, with heavy casualties. The infantry in the Sikh centre tried to defend Inala, but were enfiladed and forced into the open by a Bengal infantry regiment, and then cut down by fire from Smith's batteries of Bengal horse artillery. 
Unlike most of the battles of both Anglo-Sikh wars, when the Sikhs at Alawal began to retreat, the retreat quickly turned into a disorderly rout across the fords. Most of the Sikh guns were abandoned, either on the river bank or in the fords, along with all baggage, tents and supplies. They lost 2,000 men and 67 guns. Aftermath, Smith wrote afterwards. Many commentators referred to Smith's victory as the battle without a mistake, except for the 16th Lancers, who lost 144 men out of about 300 few of Smith's units had heavy casualties. Order of Battle, British Regiment 16th The Queen's Lancers, 31st Foot, 50th Foot, 53rd Foot, Indian Regiment's Governor General's Bodyguard, 1st Bengal Native Cavalry, 3rd Bengal Native Cavalry, 5th Bengal Native Cavalry, 4th Irregular Cavalry, Sheikh Armati Cavalry, 3 Batteries of Horse Artillery, 2 Field Batteries of Artillery, 24th Bengal Native Infantry, 36th Bengal Native Infantry, 47th Bengal Native Infantry, 48th Bengal Native Infantry, Naziri Gurkha Battalion, Sirmur Gurkha Battalion.